It is the worker ant type from the days of Metarot 2. Everyone may know him, but his role in battle has changed very significantly between then and now. It is WEAT0 Ant Tacker, with a kit of triple missile, multi legs, and the leg ability of Fortress, which grants a passive damage reduction when guarding attacks and reducing damage. Now, as a model that's available in the permanent banner, everyone will know Ant Tacker, and moderately well, everyone will know, have a pretty solid idea of what he does. But that is essentially where a lot of older fans who may not have kept up to date with this series may be wrong. But that's perfectly fine too, because his very vast change in how he fights has been around for a while and kind of caught most folks off guard. In early games, he may have focused on early crossfire attacks, which has indeed made a comeback. But in modern games, since uh, Metarot 7 onward, I believe, he had his, he had his kit changed to triple missile. Missile is a gunpowder based skill on all three parts, which is a full AoE, meaning that when attacking the target, it will spread load the total damage of the attack across all parts active on the target and spread the damage evenly. That means if it's a fully healthy target, a quarter damage to every part, or if it's an injured foe with say two or three or even one part, it will spread, it will spread the damage evenly among them. Now, the only time it will not do that is if the enemy has conceal in effect, where they will negate pierce or AoE damage. And in that case, missile becomes much more deadly because it will focus all of its damage on a single part like any other conventional skill. Now, as a triple AoE type bot, it does make using Ant Tacker relatively tricky on the field and it will very largely hinder his overall viability on the field. He's moderately tanky across the board with his HP, but he's definitely not the fastest, and when it comes to multi-legs, he definitely ranks on the lower end of the scale. But, he does make up for this with the Fortress-like ability, which means even if he may not be the fastest, he will be moderately tanky and difficult to take down, even if he doesn't deal a lot of damage every turn he hits the line. But, that being said, as a pure set score, I do sadly have to rate Ant Tacker a pretty flat 4 out of 10. Not to say that he's particularly bad or has bad parts, but having all of his parts being an AoE type skill means he's going to be focused more on peppering the foe with prep damage essentially, and then having an enemy and then having an ally come behind him to finish the job later. And he kind of played the role more of a, of a uh, support fighter more than a dedicated de more than a dedicated damage dealer. In this case, he definitely pairs a lot better with his app, with his twin, the Soldier Ant type and Tilder. But even then, Ant Tacker can still find a moderately decent place in most any team if they do build him right. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at about a 4.5 out of 10. Again, not to say that missile is bad or having slow multi legs is bad. He does make up for ha he does make up for these flaws with some moderately solid compensation. Again, the fortress-like ability on his legs, the moder the decently high armor, and so on and so forth. But if you were to use him for any reason, having an AOE skill probably wouldn't hurt for the most part. As again, it is a very solid skill you can use for peppering the opponent or at least prepping them for an ally to come behind and finish the job. But when it comes to dedicated damage dealing, Antacker is sadly not the bot to go with.